Good morning. Just a, a little remediation on some nouns and article things here. Um, so these are the notes that we went through in class. Nouns that refer to living things. So we call them people nouns. We look on the left side, the masculine nouns, like the word hombre. Sometimes we can tell just by the noun if it's masculine or feminine. Hombre means man, so that's masculine. Typically words that end in o, o, r, or ista are masculine. O, o, r, ista. Some other living nouns for feminine. Mujer is a woman, so obviously that's a feminine. Chica is girl. Pasajera, so ending in a are feminine. Ending in o, r, a. Conductora, profesora. Um, ista words are also feminine as well as masculine, okay? So it says, um, now many nouns referring to male beginning in O or O-R, O or on O-R, just like we talked about up above. Ista, Ista, masculine and feminine. Then we have these words at the bottom, joven and estudiante. Those are people nouns. They can be masculine and feminine, okay? Masculine and feminine. So as we go to the non-living things, once again, Nouns that end in O are typically masculine. See a list there. Words that end in M-A are masculine. We got a couple that end in S that are masculine. Autobus and Pais. On the other side, feminine, they end in A. Words that end in Sion, feminine. Words that end in D-A-D, feminine. Okay? Then there's a couple that are a little different we've talked about in class multiple times. Mapa ends in an A. It's masculine. Dia ends in an A. Masculine. On the contrary, we have uh, mano ends in an O, but it's feminine. So how do we make these plural? If it ends in a vowel, add S. Notice on the left side, chico, chicos, diario, diarios, problema, problemas. If it ends in a consonant, add ES. Nacionalidad, nacionalidades. País, países. Lapis, lapises. Okay? In general, when a singular noun has an accent on the last syllable, the accent is dropped in the plurals, just like that. Okay? We go on to the next page. It talks about the articles. Definite articles are the ones that have L's. L, la, los, or las. L, la, los, or las. So if our noun is masculine singular, our article must be masculine singular. Indefinite articles. Un, una, unos, unas. Un and una mean a or an. Unos, unas means some or a few. Once again, if our noun is masculine singular, our indefinite article must be masculine singular. Okay? So, um, go to the sketchbook here. So, if we have a word like chico, we could say el chico for the boy or un Chico. If we want to make that plural, los chicos or unos chicos. Okay, so right up here, here our noun is masculine singular, so our article is masculine singular, el or un. Here we have chicos, so los chicos or unos chicos. So the gender of our article matches our noun. So if we have a word like um, mano. Mano is one of those, even though it ends in an O, we said it's feminine, so we could say la mano or una mano. La mano, una mano, okay? So some of you are missing some formative work. Um, that kind of led to the lower grade on your summative. Um, please review your notes, finish those formative assignments. Um, I will expect that you'll take the quiz retake sometime this week. By Thursday would be awesome. So retake by Thursday. Thursday, which I believe is the 30th. Okay, retake by the 30th. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, things that we've reviewed in class, you know, so hopefully we do a little bit better job preparing. And uh, have any questions, let me know, like I said. Thank you.